you see is violence and Despite being the youngest of the Griffin family, Stewie is known for being as brilliant of an inventor as he is an evil infant bent on world domination. Victory is mine! Thank you for viewing Nerd Nation, and this is our top 7 inventions by Stewie Griffin. For this list, we look at the most memorable and popular inventions, not necessarily those bent on destruction and conquest. Starting our list at number 7 is the particle teleportation device. This invention appeared in Season 7 when Stewie tries to ask some questions to the cast of Star Trek, but things don't go as expected. Now, the cast and I would be happy to answer a few questions. Oh, yes, so many questions! Me! Me! Mr. Stewart! 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 Yes, you there. Oh! Stewie invents a teleporter to transport the cast to his room so he could finally get to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. It's them! I did it! The cast of Star Trek The Next Generation is here to answer my questions! What the hell? Where am I? What's going on? Greetings, everyone. My name is Stewie Griffin. I've transported you all here against your will. I'm a huge fan, and you're going to answer all my questions. But you're a baby. Yes, that's right, Denise Crosby. <laughs> He finds out though that this wasn't all he hoped for as the cast starts to show him that off the show they are incredibly annoying. Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking shut up and get a salad. I want some McNuggets. We'll get to you, Brent. I want a hamburger. No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it. This invention makes another appearance in season 11 as Stewie tries to teleport him and Brian to Vegas but ends up creating alternate versions of them. Oh my god, Stewie, it worked! We're in Vegas! Yeah, alright! Well, let's hit the hospital, get checked for teleportation cancer, and then party! At number 6 are doppelganger robots. Several robots are made throughout the seasons, invented to take the place of their counterparts. But his first robot made was in Season 3, when Peter and Lois attempted to conceive another baby. Testing voice modulator. Blast, you vile woman! Blast, you vile woman! Ooh, that won't do. Pardon me, you with the severe aesthetic deficiencies. Hey, ugly! Excellent! <laughs> Sweet! Fearing he's being replaced, Stewie invents a doppelganger of Peter in an attempt to sabotage his parents' chances at coitus. Where'd you go, my little pumpkin eater? To the can, because kissing you made me burp. This, of course, is foiled when his older siblings start fighting. And drink the antifreeze in the garage. I'm gonna chug it also. There's none left for you. Hey, watch it! Hey, that! What? Robots make another appearance in the episode Road to North Pole. Do you think I'm an idiot? Huh? Do you? In season 9, Stewie creates robots of him and Brian so they can go to the North Pole to find Santa. God, you're... you're Santa Claus. He also creates an entire robot family and a bus of robo-tourists in order to trick Lois into neutering Brian when they get back. Hey Lois, would you make an appointment for me to be neutered in two days? But are you sure, Brian? Yes, I'm sure. Well, thank you for taking the time to notarize this important document. I'm sure you are quite busy. Yes, we only have a moment, for we are taking a bus tour of Providence and other places. Number 5 we have the Mind Control Device. This appears as one of the first inventions by Stewie in the very first episode of Season 1. After defrauding the welfare system out of thousands of dollars, Peter is on the verge of being sentenced to jail when Stewie steps in. Determining he can't let that happen as he still relies on Peter for sustenance, he uses the device on the judge instead. Let us see how the iron constitution of American justice fares against the device. Oh, hell, you've learned your lesson, right? Yeah. All right, you're off the hook. Oh, wow, can you give me my job back? No. Yes. All right. The mind control makes its return in various forms, including Season 2, when he uses it to control his brother, Chris, and Season 3, when he tries to use it against Bill Cosby, but gets the tables turned on him. What you got there? No, my statement's not over. Come on, little fella, you like a jump rope, don't you? I like jump rope. Coming in at number 4 is Stewie's signature weapon, the laser gun. This is the weapon of choice for Stewie in fights that is shown in multiple episodes. <laughs> Countless battles have also included this weapon, including against his evil clone, which results in Brian having to somehow decide which is the correct Stewie to kill. Brian, it's me, Stewie. Shoot him! No, Brian, you know me. Look at me. Shoot him! Alright, there's only one way to settle this. Look at your feet. 
Why? They're just feet. <laughs> what are they doing down there? They're like leg hands. The only really discussed in Season 8's Quagmire's Baby, where Stewie clones himself to have his personal errand boy, the whole idea of Bitch Stewie is pure comedy gold and deserves our spot at number 3. Brian asks for a clone of himself and Bitch Brian is born. These personal butlers aren't all they're cloned up to be as the tunes who discover the clones seem to cause more trouble than they're worth and have a very limited lifespan. At the end they meet with a rather disgusting fate when they start to fall apart. Hey Brian! Knock knock! Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't happen to me! The cloner makes another brief appearance in Season 9 where Stewie tries to boost his evil side but ends up making the evil cloner himself instead. And number 2 is Stewie's invention that allows him to transverse parallel universe in Season 8's Road to Multiverse. In this episode, Stewie takes Brian on multiple parallel realities and we're treated to alternate versions of the Family Guy crew. To only make him one appearance, the invention is so groundbreaking and innovative for the show that it deserves the number two spot on our list. During their adventures, the duo explores several universes including one where Christianity never existed, one taken from the Flintstones, a Disney universe, and a universe where they're real like us. Uh, Brian? This feels weird. Even a robot chicken universe is found. So, we're in the robot chicken universe. Will you guys move? You're blocking a TV. Look! G.I. Joe Transformers Thundercats He-Man! Yay! Those shows existed! How's it feel to be on a major network for 30 seconds? The two become trapped in a universe where dogs are the masters of people and have to convince the Stewie and Brian of that place to help them get home. In fact, I figured out how to navigate with absolute precision. Really? I haven't. We've been jumping randomly from one universe to the next. Did you have the shuffle button on? Oh my god. There you go. That's why that little symbol mm -hmm. with the two crossed mm -hmm. arrows that, is up there in the corner. Oh my god, I feel silly. As if there is any doubt to it, number one is the invention that's been used in more episodes than any and has caused the most trouble for the young Griffin boy. His time machine. What? My time machine has been activated. Time machine? I didn't know you had a time machine. Yeah, I built it after I got bored with that European CNC. It first makes its debut in the fourth episode where Stewie first draws the blueprints for the time machine in an attempt to skip the whole teething process. Oh, how cute. It's a time machine. No, 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 it's a, it's a, class, what the devil do children draw? It's a pheasant, a time machine. Well, sure, here's where the flux capacitor goes. Y'all, I can't wait to build one of these on my own. Since then, the time machine has made a multitude of appearances and entire shows have been dedicated to the premise, including Road to Germany, where Mort accidentally goes back in time to Germany, leaving Stewie and Brian having to go save him. Get out of here fast. Quick, set up the return pad and let's get back to our own time. Right. What's wrong? Why are we still here? I don't know. Stewie, it's not working! Yeah, and you know what's not gonna fix it? You're shouting! Back to pilot in which Stewie and Brian travel back to the very first episode and subsequently goof on it. Here we are! That's odd. It's our house, but somehow it looks a little different. Oh my god, what's with Meg's voice? She sounds like someone who's about to give up a huge opportunity. And in season 11's Young Milaf, where Brian uses the time machine to pick up on girls only to end up breaking it, causing time to run in reverse. Dear god, everything's moving backward! What? What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell you did with all your messing around, Brian. Somehow, my machine seems to have reversed the direction of time. Reverse the direction of time? So, Stewie, what does that even mean? I don't get it. Okay, now I get it. So what were your favorite inventions? Oh, zip, zop, zoom, Do you agree with our top picks? That's it. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck! Please share and subscribe and come back for more top seven countdowns on all things cartoon. Pick up my poop! <laughs>